so generally we know like uh, which commands or which command we can use to know the running processes on the 48 that is diag stop but today i will talk about some other commands and some very useful command which gives the data in a very proper formatted way <coughs> so let's talk okay so as you can see on my screen the this is the output from diagnosis top and this is one of the method to know uh, which all processes are running on the 40 gate and how much memory and cpu is being consumed by these processes i have explained this diagnosis top in one of my earlier videos where i had given a full explanation of all these fields the process id name process id the state of the process memory consuming and cpu so one of the ways to know uh, the running process and their CPU memory uh, utilization by using the diag stop. So this is the first method. Then the second method which we can use the standard Linux PS command. Linux PS command is basically a uh, command which can be used on any Linux system and same way it can also be used on FortiGate. But as uh, FortiGate is a custom OS uh, which is known as Forti OS, so here the command to run this will be fnsys ctl. So basically, whenever you are running some Linux based command on Forti OS, then we can use fnsys ctl in front of them and then uh, the followed by the Linux command ps minus ef. So here PS basically is like process or it lists all the process that, is, that are running on the 40 gate. So this is the second method to get all the running uh, processes on a 40 gate. After this we have a very good command and which is formatted and nicely displayed. So this is diag test application init and followed by an integer level that is 3. So why it's like by using init? So in FortiGate, I will tell you one good fact. Like all the process on a FortiGate are started or initiated by one of the process that is known as init process or initialization or init process. So whenever a FortiGate starts, the first process to run on the FortiGate is init and then in it starts the other process and it also maintains the states of all the process that's that are running on the FortiGate. so if you run the command diag test application in it 3 it dumps the state of all the process that are started by in it d and in it maintains the states of this so as you can see here this command is giving all the process which you might not be able to see under diagnosis top so diagnosis top generally displays a few process by default some 10 or 20 but yes you can mention a number in the diagnosis top uh, like how many process you want to see but here as soon as you enter diag test application in it 3 it dumps all the process and their states that are running so here you can see the first column uh, is the n so n shows you the process name n stands for a name process name so you can see here all the processes are listed let's say awsd miglogd htphd and it's very like easily recognizable and properly formatted so you can see a long list of process that runs on the 40 gate then the second column here uh, shows you the process id pid p and the third column is the O which is the operation mode and then we have there, there is an explanation given for all these variables at the top you can see N stands for name, P for PID, O for operation mode, R is whether the process respond or what is the level of the respawning if the process is disabled then D if the process is disabled then D will D uh, then uh, respond uh, disable response so that means it will not allow you to uh, uh, respawn this process and the S is, is for application statistics whether it can be collected or not so then basically I, I also found this command after uh, like after a long time where then I saw a great utilization of this command so direct test, test application in it 3 is the third way okay so I will show you these commands now on the CLI as well 
let me just log into one of the FortiGate and show you these commands. So if you go to because I have VDOM, so I have to go to uh, global mode. Otherwise, this command works in uh, global mode only. If it is VDOM, then you have to say do a config global. Or otherwise, if you don't have VDOM, you can simply do it at the first prompt. If you do here, diag test application init and three. So this dumps all the process as I have shown you on the PPT. Same way, direct test application in it has got different levels, and this can these integers can be displayed just by putting in it and putting enter. It shows the three integers that can be used with this. So it basically dumps the stack trace, dump daemon in it states. What are the different states of the daemons, and the handling property for in it itself. But as I explained the other commands, this you might uh, means you may be aware always everyone aware of this diagsy stop. And whenever you want to run any of the uh, Linux commands, you can use a fnc ctl ps minus ef. This is to list all the process. Okay. So same way, any other Linux command can also be used with fnc. For example du this uses minus k oh sorry i'm sorry okay so this is for disk uses you can say okay and then you can like with appearances you can also use like if config where it shows all the states so fnc ctl can be used uh, for running the Linux commands which are available on the 40 OS. So this video was mostly all about diag test application in it and number three. So this is very useful in terms of getting all the process. So you can see here all the various processes that runs on a 40 uh, Thank you for watching this and hope you like this. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.